Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here's the quickest way to create your own custom brush in Photoshop. First, you'll want to paint or scan or photograph the object or the mark that you want to use as a brush. Now, when you're defining a brush, areas that are black will be fully opaque. Lighter values will be semi-transparent and white will become completely transparent. I'll use the marquee tool in order to select the area that I want to define as my brush and choose edit define brush preset. I'll give it a name and click OK. We can see that the brush has been added to the brushes panel. However, when I paint with this brush stroke, it's not very exciting. So let's undo that. And on the brushes panel, we're going to make a few changes. First, under Shape Dynamics, I want the size to jitter so I can get a lot of different size paint drops. I also want the angle to jitter, so I'll increase that. I'll also choose a different foreground color to make this a little bit more exciting. And now when I paint, you can see that it's not just that single stroke, but it's still not enough. Let's move to Scattering, and I'm going to scatter the paint drops across both axes. So now it's getting more exciting. I'll undo that move down to Color Dynamics, and I'm going to change the saturation and the brightness jitter. And I can either choose to apply that per tip so that I just paint one stroke and it varies these elements, or I can apply it on a per tip basis so that each time I paint a new paint stroke, it changes the brightness and saturation. I can also make changes to the options bar. For example, I could set this to multiply and maybe decrease the opacity and then paint. And once I've got the brush set up the way I want it, I'll click to create a new brush that will capture all of the brush settings by clicking this icon, and then including the tool settings, which will include the options in the options bar. So there you go, a quick way to create your own custom brush in Photoshop.